Okay, you're gonna wanna hear this because this is just crazy and super cool. Researchers just recently developed the first contact lens that allows the eye to see infrared light, allowing humans to see things that the human eye can't normally see or shouldn't see, even allowing people to see in the dark and interestingly enough, even with their eyes closed. For me, this is where like visual science meets science fiction in a ways. And I honestly wasn't really sure if I was gonna make this video, but I thought, you know what, this is cool enough, crazy enough, and I thought I'd share it. So normally the human eye cannot perceive infrared light. We usually only perceive what is between 400 and 700 nanometers of light. Anything below 400, such as UV light, again, we can't see it, but we certainly see and feel its effects from things like sunburn and aging of the body. But then above 700, that's more in the infrared light zone. And again, even though we cannot perceive it, we do not have photoreceptors in the eye to see that light, we do feel its presence in the form of heat. And normally to see infrared light, we have to utilize special technology like night vision goggles or perhaps some sort of uh, infrared light imagery in cameras. Basically what researchers have done are take what are called upconversion nanoparticles. These are rare earth minerals, ions that they inject into a polymer of a contact lens. And when infrared light wavelengths hit these ions, they then get excited and emit a wavelength that is closer to what the human eye normally does perceive. And I guess a huge part of this research was in fact them titrating the exact amount and what type of kind of metal ions of these nanoparticles to put into these contact lenses. Because if you give too much, it would cause the contact lenses to blur. And so then the users wouldn't be able to see anything. Kind of like wearing a contact lens of the wrong power. Everything in the world would be blurry and hard to see. Now in the development of this lens, they didn't do the mad scientist thing. They didn't put it straight onto the human eye. They first tested it out on mice. They sutured these contact lenses onto mice and did various tests to make sure that it was in fact working and the mice could see this new wavelength of infrared light. Showing that the electrical impulses in the eye were in fact perceiving different wavelengths of light. They also showed that the pupil constricted in the mice that had the contact lens on, which normally um, in a dark environment, the pupil wouldn't constrict strict unless it was perceiving light. And then most importantly, they were able to determine that the contact lenses would not cause damage to the eyeball itself, which is really important when considering putting this new invention onto like a human participant, right? They don't want to cause damage to the human eye. But when humans tested these contact lenses, they saw some really cool things. Not only were they able to detect flashing of infrared light, specifically in that of Morse code, which again, people not wearing the contact lenses would otherwise not be able to detect or see, but they're even to detect certain patterns and set of the direction of where this infrared light was coming from. But then on top of all this, the participants were even able to identify different colors, seeing reds, blues, and greens based on what type of wavelength of infrared light was shown, which I think is a super fascinating. In fact, I found an older published article that used the same sort of kind of up conversion nanoparticle technology, but they put it into glasses lenses. And with that, they were able to show specifically a color light that kind of is a yellow green color, specifically what they call as chartreuse. But it seems like the wavelength of light that you perceive in getting the different colors is totally based on the type of infrared wavelength used and studied. Because again, the band of infrared light that the human eye normally can't perceive is actually quite large. And then the other cool, really fascinating part of the story is the fact that the human subjects could see the infrared light better with their eyelids closed. And that may sound a little perplexing, but it actually does make some sense because in normal situations, keeping your eyes open, the infrared light information is gonna be confused and mixed with all the other light information that we are normally seeing, all the different wavelengths. But with your eyes closed, everything else is kind of shut off, but infrared light can still penetrate through your eyelids. In fact, that's one of the reasons why like red light therapies uh, are now incorporating infrared light to help treat various tissues on your whole body, whether it be your skin or potentially even the eyes. Okay, now if we take a step back, maybe you can say like, hey, Joey, I agree with you. This is all fascinating. This is pretty cool, but why? Why are they doing this? What could these sort of contact lenses to help us see infrared light, what, what, 
What good is this? How are they going to be able to use this? So the potential benefits of this type of technology, one, of course, uh, compared to something like night vision goggles uh, or type of infrared cameras, right? This does not require battery pack. This does not uh, require any heavy bulkiness. This is something that any human could basically put on their eyes and start seeing wavelengths of light that, again, the human eye normally should not be able to see. Uh, this may be even more beneficial in certain situations, like for safety considerations, for like pilots or somebody working where it's very foggy or smoky, or even again, it's dark like night out and being able to see and navigate your terrain and what's going on. Certainly there may be military applications, maybe kind of covert spy stuff. You can always imagine some movie going on with that sort of thing. And then for me personally, I always think, you know, this is just the beginning, right? This is just the kind of proof of concept that, hey, we can do this. And if we refine this technology more, uh, perhaps it'll be applied to other areas of life such as maybe with augmented reality, for example. Right now, there's a lot of interest in, you know, augmented reality, uh, virtual reality, and how we could kind of add additional layers to our eyesight, our visual perception, and interact with our world around us. I don't know, I'm just sort of daydreaming here, but uh, I think otherwise this is really cool and we'll have to see where it goes. But of course, let me pass this off to you. What are your thoughts on infrared light, contact lenses, uh, just contact lens technology in general? What kind of cool tech would you like to see in contact lenses? Uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me here and just letting me nerd out about something that's really cool going on in the industry. But hey, if you missed my video from the other week going into Altius contact lenses, those are contact lenses that enhance your eyesight, specifically for sporting activities, and even help people with light sensitivity due to things like migraines, then check out the video coming up right over here to the side. Otherwise, Dr. Allen here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and nerding about the eyes. Keep, the, um, keep an eye on it, <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video.